safety don't critical bro Om jag sitter i en Volkswagen jag sitter... For those who haven't followed, here's a quick recap Found his body on Facebook marketplace Fixed it up Wrapped it in the same color as the big bus and made a custom chassis for it. There's three more episodes on the channel if you want to see the details on all the other custom parts. And today we're gonna finish it and take it for a test drive. This is where we left off at in part three. And this was the original sketch of how I imagined it to look under the body. And it's looking pretty close, except that we switched out the seat. So the remaining parts is the shifter, all the wiring, a cage to hold the body and to get the lights to work. Yeah, we also need uh, an exhaust. So we have this, it's actually from this engine, but I took the muffler for the mini trike. However, I found this one from a monkey bike and I think it's quite suiting. We need that chrome tip to stick out from the back to give it that real old school look. Safety is always first in our shop, so we got a little sidetracked, but we will be right back with the exhaust in a minute. We have this acrylic, I think, piece that we will heat up a little and bend the sheet so it will cover the whole engine base so you don't get stuck with your nuts in here. Yeah, I have some orphan cats and they tend to make my clothes very hairy. Try to get this off. I'm gonna grab a hold of this. And then it's breaking, but maybe, maybe. Stair full. Yeah. Full stair, full sand. We don't have the shock here, as you can see. Big brains think a lot. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer. All right, so we're gonna have to extend the exhaust. And how we do that? With the handlebars. Yeah. A few moments later. And this is how it looks with some paint on it. A lot better. <laughs> and then it was time to build the cage that would hold up the body. Ah, oh, come on. Use protection kit. This is my first time bending a tube, so we'll see. Let's see. Pretty good. Because it's deeper on this side, so I want a little more, more of a bend here.
so I'll, I'll just do the dots so it holds together and then I'll do the full weld outside. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a blanket. And we haven't actually got the brakes to work yet. That was something that we took help from Tom. That also helped me on the previous projects. The idea was to use the drum brakes that we already had but to get the pads to touch the inside of the wheel instead of the hub that would save a lot of space and width because we had to get this as narrow as possible we had to have it 60 centimeters wide to fit inside the body originally the quad it was like 90 centimeters wide then I used this epoxy glue I think you call it JB Weld in the States to yeah basically glue it together with the wheel <laughs> I don't know if it was the fact that I had this laying around for a couple of years in various temperatures but it smelled disgusting Let's see the before, the back side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also cleaned it before we, we added that. Now we have the adapters on. So the brake pads will go on here. Before, washed, after, nice. And then I made a battery tray. So the battery can sit under the gas tank. To the body so now we will put tubing from uh, from these parts up to the up to the body yeah to make the the cage complete so then we can in the future we can just lift off and on the body with like connectors for the lights so be pretty pretty easy we need to paint the uh, chassis as well uh, but other than that we're getting closer when this catches fire you're not getting out <laughs> now i think it's uh, pretty sturdy i'm gonna try to like see if this shit holds up I really hope it does. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now we need to get the exhaust in place and also weld the exhaust tip so it points out from the rear. It's gonna look mm, mint. Look, my first bend. My second bend. <laughs> Patrick did a huge job on the electrics, but as he said himself, it's not that fun to watch. 
a little uh, hey hey there how you doing and now we have the reflective plastics in place for the rear lights as well that looks good nice so now it was time to take everything apart so i can paint it So after I covered some of the stuff off that wasn't going to be painted, I grinded down all the sharp edges and then I wiped everything off. Right, so Patrick has fixed the cables on these ones, and now we're gonna put them in the in the holes. <laughs> yeah, it's finally time. Nice. How do you like the black interior? Really dark. <laughs> uh, can you help the battery? Okay, so Patrick's gonna try the uh, harness. And we have lights, both in the back and the front. Nice. And the indicator is... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's all coming together. There isn't all that much left to do on it. But we still haven't fired it up. <laughs> so we still don't know if it works. I'm a little uh, excited today because we're finally starting the engine. In the middle of the street, our house. All right, moment of truth. Hold your ears, kids. This is gonna sound crazy. In case it starts.
I just noticed there was something missing on the steering wheel. So I had to make this Volkswagen cap for it, for the middle. And of course, our shifter. This is like one of the big things, one of the big details on the whole project. This is not just my favorite tool, but also we call it Hüfnickel. Some of you call it adjustable wrench, a crescent wrench, Klutschwetzki kurva. But I think it was in Australia, they call it a shifter. M my bad. This is me shifter mate. And since we're gonna use it as a shifter, that's pretty funny. So yeah, I love this detail. It was Patrick's idea. Nej här. Så där kommer det sitta så jävla fett. Jag må använda ankelgrinder. And there it is. Without the body, and uh, of course we got the safety belt. Yeah, we did a burnout, so there's no air in this in this one. But uh, other than that, it's the finished version. Got the um, gear shifter indicator and the throttle, and got the nice steering. And the gas tank up front, just like in the, in the sketch. And we also have, do you have a key fob? Special feature, we have this. So on this, we have remote start. We have a alarm and the horn. Remote start, this is crazy. Now we're gonna test the alarm. It. We're gonna put the shell on. We have the rear mirrors, we have the plates and all the features and we even added some chrome details to the to the bottom. We have the stickers, everything. Indicators looking beautiful. Look at this indicator. You see, yeah, they really match the the look, old school feeling. So if you want to ride, just click the remote start. All right, so let's see. I'm sitting at a cafe, sipping on some uh, water. 
Uh, with my girl, like, yeah, you wanna, you wanna take a ride? You got my ride right here. So I warm it up a little. Hop in. Sorry, baby, there's only room for one. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Or did he? Oh, what a 